G'day everybody, how's it going? Today I wanted to show to you the Wirelite cable camera uh, in its little package here and what advantages it has over using a drone uh, and some of the advantages and disadvantages with it. So first I'll show you the little package uh, and the kit it comes with. So a little travel case here is separate but uh, what's inside all comes with the box here. So first of all you have of course your main unit here which has a motor in the top here. The little arms pop up. And on the bottom here it comes with a little thread where you can attach the included ball head. You're able to attach anything up to about 1.5 kilograms. So I've been using uh, my DJI Osmo Action and DJI Osmo Pocket. You can use up to a uh, mirrorless camera or a DSLR if it's light, up to 1.5 kilograms. Inside the main unit here you have the motor and the rope will feed through here. All your controls are on here and you can adjust your speed with a little dial. You will get a spool of 50 meters of uh, line here. You can upgrade to 100 if you wish, but I found the 50 is pretty sufficient for most situations. Thanks to its awesome little design, it's very easy to feed out the line. You just attach this carabiner around, say, a tree or something like that. And then as you walk backwards, it just feeds itself out. And then at the other end, you attach this included strap here with the carabiner around another tree or whatever anchor point you might have. And then the second carabiner will attach into the wire light spool here, like that. And then you're able to just crank down on the strap to get your line nice and tight. Also included in the kit are these two little brakes, little stoppers here, which you want to attach to the line on each end, just in case your camera goes flying into the anchor point, which you don't want to happen. Ideally, you don't want to use this in windy conditions. When there's no wind, you'll find it moves very smooth and won't have any shape to it. But in a couple of time lapses that I tried, when it was a bit windy, I noticed it was shaking back and forth, and so it was quite tricky to remove that shake in video. So whenever possible, you want to use it when there's very little wind. The Wirelite unit itself is powered by this lithium ion battery, rechargeable, and I've found that it lasts ages. I've used it for a couple of days in a row, doing motion time lapses and various video clips, and it was still good to go but I always recommend picking up an extra battery just in case. Okay, so the total setup time is about five minutes to 10 minutes, depending on where you're shooting, but it's super simple. So let me show you that right now. So we're out in the forest today filming with the Wira light, uh, setting up a quite a long shot zipping through the trees here. I'll just give you a quick look at my setup. Here's the Wira light itself here and it's anchored back to this tree and you want to remember to put little stoppers on the end just in case it goes flying into the end of the line. You don't want that to happen and you can also set digital stops with the little buttons here. 
for the right stop and left but they can drift a little bit i found so it's always good to use these uh, physical stoppers here just in case so just to give you an idea at the speed that this thing can move i'm going to pop it into sport mode now by giving the mode button a little tap there okay and check it out here we go Woo! that thing can motor so i've got a line set up about 50 meters here through the forest and i believe it does 100 meters in 9.5 seconds so that thing can really move if you want it to so if you're in Japan as I am and you'd like to pick this up, check out Image Vision at the link below where you'll find this. If you're overseas, I'm sure you can pick it up from some of the big name stores. So there's a little look at the Wira Light cable camera. It opens up a lot of opportunities that I wasn't able to do before with my drones, so I highly recommend it. You should check it out. Thanks very much for watching and stay tuned for the next video.